Washington is owned by the special interests and the big corporations. Somebody ought to call them on it. And these people have called them on it. Enough already. Listen to Occupy Wall Street. You know what they're saying? No one went to jail after trillions were taken from the taxpayers. In their campaign, you don't matter the big checks do. In my campaign, I don't take big checks. You're everything. Hey, with us now, former Republican governor from Louisiana and presidential candidate, Buddy Romer. Buddy, you're shaking things up with that commercial. Are you embracing Occupy Wall Street? I do. I embrace its uh, spirit and its smell. Its smell. They what, sm- what does Occupy Wall Street smell like? It smells like a rough crowd. Lots of young people. I was there once myself. I'm 68. I have yeah. faint memories. Yeah. Uh, I remember the civil rights marches that I was in in the Deep South. I remember the anti-Vietnam War stuff that I participated in as a college student. I have memories. What Occupy Wall Street says to me is they get it. They get that somewhere between Wall Street and K Street, the system is corrupt. Here's why. A big check gets first in line. Everybody else is out of sight. Hmm. This country is not fair at the top. That's the bottom line. I couldn't agree with you more. What is the response? I mean, you were down there a few times? I have. I was the first guy to go down first there. First guy to go down there? Yeah. What was the response and what did you find? Oh, they beat me up badly. Oh, I'm, you know, I'm a Republican and hmm. a conservative by nature. Uh, but we had a good day. I, I listened. I didn't give a great speech. I didn't <laughs> come to talk. I came to listen. And I liked what I heard. Their solutions are different than mine. Sure. They think we need more government. I think we need better government. Big difference. And you're walking the walk on your message about getting big money out of politics. You won't take a donation to your campaign above $100. Uh, we know what that's done to a campaign. You just can't survive that way. But what Tough. would you like to see done about campaign finance reform specifically in this country? Well, it must be constitutional. And the battle is 50 years old between liberals who want limits and conservatives like me who want full disclosure. Right now, we have neither. I would do the following three or four things. Number one, I would have a 48-hour reporting period. We live in an electronic world. Number two, I would have full disclosure, no exceptions. Number three, I would make PACs equal to individuals, whatever that limit is, $1,000, $2,500, not twice as much as it is now. Number four, I think super PACs are illegal. Number five, I would separate lobbyists from check giving. You can do one or the other if you're a registered lobbyist. You can bring an idea or you can bring a check. You can't do both. And finally, I would have criminal penalties in the law. I would make campaign reform the first issue in America. Our country's headed in the wrong direction, and it's done so deliberately by the biggest and the brightest because they have the power and control. Somebody once said, I think it was a Brit, power corrupts and absolute power corrupts absolutely. Washington, D.C. is corrupt. You know, I'm the only guy running for president who's been a congressman and a governor. I'm the only guy running for president who's built a billion-dollar bank with no bailouts and no help from this lousy, corrupt government. I saw bank reform last year, and I said, buddy, you owe it to your family and your future to stand up and say something. Bank reform. Too big to fail is still the law. Glass-Steagall is still defeated. No increase in capital ratios. And Fannie Mae and Freddie Mac still exist. It's a disgrace. We were talking about this earlier this morning. Why does too big to fail still exist? What's the reason? We... We had this crisis hey, that shook us to our core, and yet it's still in place and me, bigger than it was Let me before. give you a word. Money. Cash. You know who the biggest corporate giver from the financial world was four years ago? A little firm called Goldman Sachs. You know who the largest corporate giver in America is to politicians in Washington? General Electric. Have you seen their record? No one went to jail. GE made $5.4 billion last year and didn't pay one damn penny in federal income tax. You know why Occupy Wall Street is there? They can read and they can smell. <laughs> Something stinks. Yeah. 
<laughs> and, and it's usually John Heilman who's supporting. John, no, no question. John. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Don't fair, take that, fair, John. Fair point. Um, uh, uh, Governor, I want to ask you a political question. So, okay. so as you pointed out just now, you're the only uh, Republican candidate who's been both a governor and member of the House of Representatives. Right. Uh, Gary Johnson, former governor of New Mexico, right. uh, a very Good successful man. governor. Good man. Uh, a real conservative. Okay. Uh, the two of you have been um, uh, have been non entities in this race. Not yeah. not largely. I think Gary Johnson was allowed in one debate. Uh, you, two in two debates. You guys have not been. I keep score. <laughs> you guys have not been allowed on the stage. No. Uh, you've been blocked out from from media coverage. You're not yeah. really. You're, you, you've been effectively silenced by the process. The process. And now you are inside it. So tell it. How is it? How can it be that a former governor of New Mexico, a former governor and congressman from Louisiana, cannot get on a stage? with some of these other figures who are, in many ways, I think, you know, many people have regarded them as sort of laughable, some of these other figures. They are certainly have no more credibility than you guys do. Why right. is that? What have you learned about the impediments that have kept you off the ra- out of the stage, and how do we stop that from happening again in the future? I've decided it's part of the system. It's part of money first, uh, entertainment, uh, It's part of power grab. I mean, someone makes the rules. Here's what's happened to me. There have been 10 national debates. I've been on zero. Gary's been on two. I'm 0 for 10. The rules keep changing. I started off, you had to be an official candidate. I what? I became an official candidate. Then they said you had to have 1%. I didn't. Then I got 1%. They said you have 2%. I didn't. Then I got 2%. And here's what they said the last two debates. You had to raise a half a million dollars in the last 90 days. Now, why is that a rule? I have raised 256000 No packs. No super packs. Average gift, $40.55. Free to lead. And I can't get on a debate. Something's wrong in Denmark. So is Mitt Romney uh, the leader? You, you're saying that uh, Washington is bought and paid for. Is Mitt Romney bought and paid for? Absolutely. He's got three super PACs. And, you know, they're supposed to be independent. No coordination. His super PACs are run by a former campaign manager, a former business partner, uh, and a former a chief of staff. Is that separate and independent? He actually spoke at the fundraiser for his super PAC. That's no coordination. Rick Perry has seven. Every other Republican candidate, including Gary Johnson, by the way, when he made his first debate, he formed a super PAC the next day. It's a joke. You know who owns America? You don't. Your vote is unimportant, Joe. You don't even count. You know who owns America? A few at the top, and they got one thing in mind, no change. Look at Obama, all that hope and promise, no changes. He's running for re-election barely halfway through his term a year ago. And so what did he say? I'm going to raise a billion dollars. Well, guess who the president's raising from? The very banks he's supposed to regulate. He went to Wall Street, had a fundraiser, $35,800 a ticket. And you know who the host was? Goldman friggin' Sachs. <laughs> hey, you know what? So He's you remember you remember the last primary process? Yes. We made Mike Huckabee oh, an honorary exactly. member of the round table. <laughs> I think we yes. found our man. I think we found our guy. Yes. How often do you get up to New York? Uh, as seldom as possible. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, we'll I'm in see. New Hampshire, man. Uh, I'm in New Hampshire. And I'm looking at Americans elect. They've right. shut me out of this debate. I'm a proud Republican, but I'm a prouder American. And I'm taking a serious look at Americans elect. 50 states, they're going to be on the ballot. I want on the national stage. And I'm going to ask Mr. Obama and Mr. Romney, where did you get your money? Okay. Who do you work for? I, I, I think his voice needs to be heard, yeah. Nika. I agree. This is, a, this is a, an unbelievably important uh, message I think to get out to America. I think that I completely and agree with, and some I don't. that both he and Gary Johnson have not been I able agree. to get more airtime. They are both totally credible public servants. Well, you're just and saying that about Gary Johnson because you want pot legal. Well, that's, that's <laughs> partly true. But, but, but nonetheless, a very successful governor of New Mexico. How can these people, he was these successful. are serious politicians He's a good who have guy. serious records of public service and they can't get on the stage? Seriously, that's a message. It's ridiculous. That's a message that 80% it's of America wants to hear right yep. there. They're going to get to hear it, Joe. All, All right. Governor Buddy Romer, Wait, can you. I ask him a question. You may. What are you going to do on January 10th after Alabama 
plays LSU. What do you celebrate? Oh, what celebrate? How about them Tigers? I set you up on that one. I'm hurting myself in 49 states. I know, but I can't help. I didn't go to LSU, but I bleed purple and gold. They're a great team, aren't they? They in Alabama. That's going to be something I never said in Louisiana. I went to Harvard undergraduate economics and the Harvard Business School banking. I never mentioned that. Yeah, you're smart man. Thank you very much.